It's great that you believe in the Father. But if you are a true follower of Jesus, a true person who loves Jesus, then I would say to you, do what Jesus did. He worshipped the Father. He kept, he kept the, the Old Testament laws. He never ate swine. He was circumcised. So if you truly love Jesus, and you are a true follower of Jesus, I would say worship how he worshipped in the Garden of Gethsemane. How does it show us how he worshipped? He put his face onto the ground. How does it show Moses' worship in the Old Testament? He put his knees and his hands and his face onto the ground and he worshipped his Lord. Do you know how to worship God? Of course, this is how Jesus worshipped. We worship in the same way. No, no, no. no. To worship God, you have to have the spirit for God is a spirit and to worship him in spirit and in truth so nobody can worship God without the Holy Spirit for God is a spirit that's why Jesus says you must be born again to Nicodemus he was a Pharisee a religious man one that knew the law very committed to the Jewish religion but yet he did not know how to worship God and how to get into God's kingdom so Jesus says to enter God's kingdom, you must be born again of water. How did Moses? How did, how did Moses okay. pray? How did Moses now pray? Now you have the, yeah. You, now you're going into the Old Testament. No, no. How did Moses pray? How, how Moses yes. prayed? No, if, 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 if this was the only formula, okay. how okay. comes how comes the thousands of Moses prophets that came prophet. before? Yeah. They all prophet. prayed like the Muslims pray. You're not a prophet. No, no. Okay. You spoke for quite a while, brother. Yeah. Look, a, a person who reflects on these things would say that if 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 this message that the brother is preaching is true Amen. all of the prophets would have Hallelujah. preached the same message right they would not have left us confused they would not have to wait for thousands of years until jesus until somehow this formula was now given to human beings There's no muslims pray like jesus okay no muslims how, how, it's did, a lie. how did jesus pray Right? How did Jesus pray? He prayed to the Father. How, how did he do it? Okay. Well, now you will say. Tell me in the Bible how he shows you. You say he by, by, um, by prostrating. I'm not saying the Bible says no, this. No, 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 no. I know how he prayed. The Bible says this. It's not just one way. The Lord didn't pray just one way. You got fixed in your mind one way. Okay, That's can, you, you, can, do it can one you show way. me, quote me, but Jesus. Can you quote me, Jesus praying okay. the way you pray? So, can you do that? So, so Jesus, when Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, does it say he was bending down? He was prostrating? Brother, you missed the point completely. No, you know, you know why you missed the point. point? You know why you missed the point? Because what you have to demonstrate to me, because I've demonstrated to you, at his time of need, at the time when he was stressed, when he was saying, Father, lift this cup from me. The Bible explicitly tells you how he prayed. It says he puts his face onto the ground and he worshiped his Lord. Do you know what now, hold on a second. It's for you now to demonstrate that Jesus here teaches the disciples to put their hands together like this and he said sing these hymns. It's for you to demonstrate that to me. Now the point I make to a lot of my Christian brothers and sisters is this. Hallelujah. And I will finish. If today you saw the prophets walking into the park all together, let's say the last five prophets, including Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, you would not be able to differentiate them. And if you followed them and you watched how they ate and what they abstained from and you, and you followed them and you saw how they prayed, they would all be identical. They would not be dancing and singing and, ki and making hymns. They never prayed like this. They put their faces onto the ground and they worshiped their Lord. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah. I can say, I can be very colourful in, in explaining things, yes? But when I look at the actions of Jesus, worshipping the Father, putting his face onto the ground, circumcised, not eating pork, wearing loose clothing, having a beard, a sunnah of Jesus, a sunnah of uh, an example of Abraham, an example of, of Moses, an example of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, all having beards. What does that tell you, brother? It tells you that his words and my words are irrelevant. The actions are important. And if Jesus only ever is depicted praying to the Father, then as a servant of God, as a follower of Jesus, 
that's what you should do as well.